In comes an mRNA molecule with specific instructions from the DNA and the nucleus for making proteins. Next comes a tRNA molecule into the P site with an anticodon which corresponds to a specific codon on the mRNA molecule, and it also contains an amino acid. In comes another tRNA molecule, and the amino acid from the first is passed on to the amino acid in the second, forming a polypeptide chain. After the amino acid is transferred, the whole strand moves onward. In comes another tRNA into the A site again, and the two on the tRNA in the P site will be transferred over to the one on the A site. Again, the whole strand moves down. Again, the process is repeated as the tRNA evacuates from the E site and another one comes into the A site. The amino acids from the P site are passed on to the one in the A site and the whole strand moves down again. As you can see, this process called translation and protein synthesis continues on and on again multiple times. The polypeptide chain is passed on to the next tRNA molecule until finally the, on the mRNA molecule there's a stop code on as you can see here. There's a tRNA with, molecule with a stop anticodon and that bonds to the codon on the mRNA. This causes the polypeptide chain to detach and also the tRNA to detach. The amino acid chain goes and becomes a better protein.